want to associate myself with the remarks of uh, uh, Mr. Neal and uh, Mr. Schneider. I also want to say to the uh, gentle lady uh, from New York, uh, I respect her intentions and uh, understand uh, what her legislation is attempting to do. Uh, but as Mr. Neal noted, there is a, a greater opportunity here. And Mr. Schneider, in his remarks, brought that out, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, last Saturday, we saw what happens when allies stick together. President Biden demonstrated firsthand what happens when America deploys its naval fleet, works in coordination with Israel and our allies to totally rebuke Iran. During that same weekend, the Ukrainian people have more bombs dropped on them as this Congress stood silent, as our NATO allies look on, I commend Mitch McConnell for stepping up and standing up for the Ukrainian people and our allies. It's a disgrace how the United States is perceived by our allies. These are people being bombed by a dictator. We need to bring the supplemental bill forward and pass it in the United States. Listen to Mitch McConnell. Listen to the pleas of the Ukrainian people who have been into your office. Their cause is righteous. They're standing up for freedom and liberty of their own people. They're rebuking Putin. Are we standing with the Ukrainian people or are we accessing to the will of a dictator who's imposing and dropping bombs and missiles on our allies as Congress sits idle and does nothing with legislation that's been in front of us for two months. Two months in a supplemental that was requested over five months ago. Every Israeli individual that I've spoken to and every American Israeli has said the same thing. We want to see Ukraine helped as well. We want to see humanitarian aid going to the Palestinians. What is stopping it from happening? It could happen today, now. But instead, however well intended, however the support for our esteemed ally in Israel, we look the other way as the Russian dictator imposes his will on the Ukrainian people, stand up, Congress. Put all the politics aside. It doesn't mean anything. What counts and what matters are the Ukrainian people and the cause for liberty that they stand for. And it's long overdue that Congress stand up and act. I yield back.